a flawless being a being that can do no wrong a being that can do all one that can create and destroy one that can teach and lead and do the necessary thing when he sees it a being that doesn't have any mistakes that's what a flawless being is in dragon ball everyone had his flaws so we never saw anyone that had all of this that didn't have any flaws but that changed after the last episode of dragon ball Super. the angels are beings that are mainly teachers for the gas of destruction but seeing we and seeing all of them they had everything that a perfect being has they had the discipline the power the ability to guide teach destroy if they need they had everything except one thing and that was to create to make life to give life to the being that has changed we saw Whis giving life to Frieza an angel revived a mortal just like that that just shows us that Whis and the angels have the ability to give life to the beings the angels after that showed us that they can do that or are beings that can do everything that have the ability to do whatever they want a flawless being and that's what an angel should be like a one that watches over everyone the ability to create life was just for the kind now the angels have that ability have the ability to do what the kais do have the ability to destroy like gods of destruction have the ability to do what's right when they see it they're not driven by feelings just like mortals feelings drive the mortal down sometimes because they can't control their feelings but the angels on the other hand don't show any feelings they act on what's necessary to do on what's right to do even if that can hurt someone but they see the bigger picture that's what makes the angels different from the mortals sometimes feelings can drive someone to be the best he can be but that doesn't happen all the time the feeling of excitement when fighting can sometimes make you too excited which will make you drop your guard down sometimes and that can drive you down them, just like what we saw from Goku. The angels don't do that. The angels just fight. They have mastered ultra instinct. They teach the gods. They reach the level where they're on top. They're giving. They're caring about their god of destruction. They obey his commands. Almost every other being has its flaws. Mortals, they're driven most of the time by feelings. Also, gods of destruction just destroy. They're filled with flaws. They can be changed just like that. Like what we saw with Beerus. The Kais, they can create, but they can't defend themselves that much. So, almost everyone has his flaws even Zeno is just a kid he doesn't think that much about his decisions from all of the beings that we saw from Dragon Ball this far the one who seems to be flawless are the angels also this just shows us that even the Daishinkan can create life on a much bigger scale a scale that isn't just a mortal or two on a scale much much higher than that and that all of the angels have everything that they need to from the fighting ability to the ability to create they can do all they are the flawless being in Dragon Ball Super. Can Goku follow in those footsteps? Can he become one day one of the flawless beings in Dragon Ball? Can he be the prodigy of the angels? The way it's going on now, he is following in their footsteps. He got a power that the angels use. That's Ultra Instinct. Mortals can get it, but we don't know of any mortals except him for now that have this power, the power of angels. So will he follow their path, the path of becoming the flawless, the path of becoming one day the be all in all, the strength, the mind, one day he will achieve all of that. If every time he defeats his foe, if every time he goes beyond his limits, one day he will be at the angel's level, he will be their prodigy. Saying that, I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.